Duck Talks is part of Res TV's network of podcasts. Check out res.tv for other great podcasts. <laughs> It's the week of Monday, February 10th, and you're listening to episode 92 of Duck Talks. We're still in hiatus. That's all right. That's okay. We're going to do this thing anyway. I didn't know I was going to rhyme. I don't know where that came from. (laughs) So yes, DuckTales is still on hiatus, but there is a new episode of Duck Talks for you to listen to. You know, we don't quit just because episodes of DuckTales aren't airing or there's very little news whatsoever about when they will air. But we do have good news about that because we got to post a short little article about an image that found its way online. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, Thank you for checking out Duck Talks. We are a DuckTales and Disney Afternooniverse podcast. So we're going to cover all the news around the current DuckTales show. Um, the old show, all the stuff on Disney Plus that we want to talk about. Maybe some video games, lots of merchandise, things like that. That's why we're here. We hope you enjoy yourself and uh, come back and listen again. If uh, you're a regular, uh, if you've been listening for a while, thank you for continuing to hang in there with us. And yes, we are ready for new episodes of DuckTales 2. My name's Mitch. I'm one of your hosts. Joining me this week, I have Pyra Steven. Ahoy there. Yes. Hiatus time. We're good at this, though. <laughs> we we should be. It's funny when people comment about how many episodes we've had, and yet DuckTales isn't, hasn't had all that many episodes. It's like, yeah, we've kind of gotten used to talking about other stuff. I know. We, we, we'd be like on our fourth season by now. <laughs> oh, wait. Josh is here. Josh is with yeah. us, too. I'm I'm here waiting to get my introduction, and you go you just go on and move around with the podcast. <laughs> and with us tonight hey. is our good pal Josh. <laughs> hey guys, how's it going? I didn't forget about you. I was giving you a hard time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we were we were talking about it's been a while since all three of us were on an episode. Um, at least for us, it feels like it's been a while since we've talked. Uh, even even by text message, we've all been kind of busy, so. Uh, there's the the break does allow us to do other things. <laughs> yeah, I can so what is that, what is everybody's guess of when this Ducktales train is going to get moving again? Oh man, that, you know what? Let's talk about this image because it's kind of worrisome when it comes to that. I, I'm I'm thinking March might not happen now. <laughs> <laughs> Because, you know, I was still holding out hope that we might get that one episode in March because we've done that in the past. Well, when's it? I mean, February is the is the shortest month, so that's a, that's a fact if anybody needs to look that up. Yeah. So we don't know. I mean, March is coming up. Wouldn't we have got a promo by now? I would think so. But, you know, there might be one in the works because there is that image that found its way online uh, today. Uh, we first came across it from a Tumblr um, let's see, or let's see, it is Endbringer00 uh, posted up an image of Huey, Dewey, Louie, and Webby in what appears to be costumes. Halloween time. It seems Halloween time. They also commented on what they think the costumes are, so I'm going to read the, the Tumblr post. They put Huey as Gizmo Duck, and I kind of see it. It looks like they're, he might be wearing a helmet um, with a horn or something taped to it and then (laughs) there's like a robotic glove so i'm thinking it's like um the uh the power glove from nintendo i don't know uh it's possible this very well could be if you look at his chest and his stomach it looks like he's he's uh it looks like he's dressed up as gizmo duck next to him is huey no wait green sweatshirt that's louie so louie's you know being lazy and he's dressed up as huey and then he says, we've got Dewey as a Hawaiian pirate, and he does have an eye patch, so that does scream pirate or injured eye. Uh, but he is also wearing a Hawaiian shirt, and if you look closely at the Hawaiian shirt, the pattern is familiar, although the color is wrong. Because it should be red for 
Yeah. For for Dale, but it's blue for Dewey. And then Webby is a so- Cyclops dragon. He thinks. Um, although I saw someone comment on Twitter asking if it was something a lot more specific than that, and they may be onto something because I have no idea what it was. Oh come on, look at it again. Yeah, obviously looking at it, you don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> no, I actually, I wasn't looking at it. I was trying to pull it back up. Because <laughs> right, I was trying to find pull. it on Twitter. Wait, 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 which out. one are you doing? Louis? You trying to figure out what Louis is? No, Webby. A Webby. I, I know what Webby is. You know what Webby is. I mean, it, it was like pink Cyclops. All right, come on, Josh. You got this. Um, blanking out now. Maybe from a season two episode. Uh, Gravity Falls? No. Maybe from a season two DuckTales episode. Wait, say that again. A season two DuckTales episode? Yeah. Maybe from a season two (laughs) DuckTales episode starring... With Storkules? The... Three Caballero... Oh, you're talking about the plant? Yeah, but it's not like the plant. Oh. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. But maybe it did have an eye. You're right. It did have an eye. Oh, no, See? it had a it had a single eye, uh, cat-like eye, and it had teeth. But there's bat wings on this thing, right? So I did find the post, which was throwing me off on guessing, although I wouldn't have guessed anything. Um, and they put... a. Oh, man, I can't say this. So Josh Griffin, the Joshy G, says, Yo, is Webby dressed as a Cacodemon? Uh, I don't know. I was it's like, that you, you had to pronounce it. That's funny. <laughs> I also said someone's last name, didn't I? Cacodemon. Let's see. Cacodemon. I don't know. Whoa, that is totally what she's dressed as. Is an evil spirit the opposite of... What's this from? It's got to be from something. Oh, it's from Doom. Oh, it's, I know. It's from Doom. I don't know, yeah. maybe. Hey, now that everybody's heard us ramble about it, they can go check and see. It's possible. It could be a, a DuckTales version of whatever that is. Cackle Demon. Cacko Demon. Nah, you, you should edit this whole thing out. No, it's totally staying. <laughs> But, I mean, no, I, it could be the plant, because the eye is um, like a cat iris. I think it's ca- what it's called, but possible. What do you guys think? You think you think we got... You think they're going to... Man, are they going to plan episodes into October? Because if they do that, I don't even see us getting episodes in, in summer. No, I, I feel like I wanted it to be March, right? Yeah. And I'm thinking it's going to be May now because they like May. They like DuckTales in May. They do love DuckTales in May. We know that. So it could be May. I'm thinking we're, hey, we're, they're going to wait closer to summertime to, to release these. So I don't know. Just my, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> I mean, the Disney Channel has an actual Halloween episode. You know they're going to hold it, hold it until October. Oh, man. Frank, why did you guys do a Halloween episode? (laughs) I mean, I know they had no clue that the show was going to get held or when it would air. I mean, they're still working on it. So We also know they have a Christmas episode. Right. Because Frank did confirm we will find out why Scrooge and Santa don't get along. So... Yeah, and I mean, we're assuming that's going to happen in a Christmas episode. It should. I mean, even if it doesn't, the Disney Channel will hold it and air it during Christmas. So, so yeah, it's it might be a little while. It may be summer, late spring, maybe late summer before we get new episodes. I hope that's not true. This now, this image looks cool though. I'm I'm excited. It's it's nice to get something. I love that everybody's excited about it online. You know, we posted up the blog as soon as we saw it, and um, the conversations already started online. So if you're listening and you're not following us, we're on Twitter at Duck Talks. And yeah, very quickly I saw the, the rise of likes. We're over 100 likes on it already. 
and it's been shared almost 50 times. So people are excited about anything season three. Everybody's ready. Mm -hmm. It'd be nice to get an announcement or a promo. Well, there's one out there somehow. Someone got one, so hopefully soon. That's the next question, right? Where did this come from? You guys got any guesses? YouTube? I don't know. <laughs> Probably some promo in some other country that someone snapped. And... <laughs> yeah, it probably aired in the Philippines. You're right. Um, so I, when I started looking into it, I came across some tweets. Um, I about said on Twitter. <laughs> That's redundant. Um, I came across some tweets, and it looks like the people that found this image might have been looking for um, something about a rumored promo. I, I can't find anything online, so if I'm wrong, someone send that to us. Uh, we'll share it around. Post-recording edit, it was a promo, and we have seen it. But uh, I think people are looking for promos and, and came across this. It does look like this is not a screen grab. Someone did not do a screenshot from their phone or computer. This is literally a picture taken of a screen. You can see, I don't really know what that distortion's called, but you can see that light distortion when you're taking a picture of a screen on there. It's not a flash. I know what a flash is. <laughs> but um, look at the image. You'll know what I'm talking about for those that are listening and, <laughs> and wondering what I'm talking, rambling about. Uh, but yeah, you can, you can tell that it is a picture taken of a screen. My, my first thought is I wonder if someone working on the show took a picture and sent it to someone and then it accidentally ended up online. Um, I don't think this is in a promo that aired. Just because I can't find one. But I was wrong. But it'd be cool if it was. Mitch is talking to himself again. <laughs> I know you got. Well, I waited and there was some silence. And I was well, like, I'm, okay, on, I'm, I'm searching. I'm actively searching online. <laughs> oh, you're looking online for a promo? Yeah, you were like, oh, is he playing D Disney Emoji Blitz? I figured said? it was an <laughs> Emoji Blitz. <laughs> One of the two. I ran out of lives, so now I'm, I'm doing. Oh, it. see, that's why you got to pick up Disney Heroes Battle Mode. Yeah. Speaking of which, got, hey, have we talked about Powerline being in the the Battle Heroes? game yet no we talked about magicka last time we were on but i think powerline came out since then i may have gotten him did you really yeah <laughs> you didn't share that before um no Man, you can't hold stuff until the podcast i gotta know these things <laughs> uh it's a. Uh... I've got him, but I haven't played with him yet, so that's that's probably the, the main reason. He's still level one. Okay. I was looking at some of his animations, and, and they're pretty funny, and all of his moves and skills are like light shows and electrifying entrance, showstopper, stuff like that. Um, I'm definitely going to turn on the volume and see if there's any music playing uh, when he does stuff. But I'm looking forward to him. I still don't have him, Magicka, or Gizmo Duck. I got everybody else duck-related. You think they'll move on to like rescue rangers and stuff after after we get done yeah. with all the DuckTales characters? I hope so. That'd be great. Um, we, we we're starting to see Goof Troop. Um, I'm hoping that we're going to get Max or something pretty soon. But uh, we got that with Powerline. Um, we have Goofy already, and then Powerline. So I'm hoping we're going to get Max, and then um, that'd be great to see some uh, rescue rangers. I think they like Huey, Dewey, and Louie are all kind of grouped up together, so they could do one for all the rescue rangers together that they can attack. I think that would work out pretty good. That's true. That'd be cool. Well, it's a, a fun game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Check us out. Uh, make sure if you, if you download the game for the first time, make sure you end up on server two before you start playing. And then when you reach level 15, you can look up duck talks guild. It's open at the moment. We're still below 50 members, although I've kicked a few people. I apologize, but you have not been playing for three months. Um, so I kicked a few people, and so we have some spots open. Eventually, I'll close it, and then you can request to join. But right now, we're still open. Anything Disney-related... Or Disney-related. Anything Disney Afternoon-related going on with Blitz right now? No. No. Nothing, uh, nothing Disney Afternoon-related. Wow, wow. It's been a little while. There was a, a one-day event or something not long ago. I saw you tweeting. Yeah, it's not a bad time to... 
to catch up on uh, your gold boxes to unlock any of the previously released Disney African characters before they release more. Uh, I can't I can't think of who the next one would be though, unless they did like a Nega Duck event. Oh man, that would pull me in if we got a bunch of villains. Yeah, we'll definitely let you know when we see them. All right, so we jumped into one news item. Uh, before we go any further, we wanted to look at some feedback we've received. Um, sometimes we will read emails on the show, so if you've got some, a burning question, something you'd like for us to talk about, you can send that to ducktalkspod at gmail.com. You could also send us questions or, or comments over on Twitter. You know we're there a lot. Uh, and other social media, you can reach out to us. Uh, one of our favorite ways to hear from you, though, is the voicemail. Now, we've not set up a voicemail box, so to say, uh, but what you could do is record yourself on your phone and save that as an audio file and then email it to us, and we'll play it on the show, and then we'll talk about whatever your voice message was. And we have one of those. This was actually, and I've already apologized to this person. Um, we had this to talk about the last time we recorded. Pirate and I were actually pretty excited about it, and somehow we didn't get to it. I don't know what happened because we it was literally the last thing we talked about before I hit record. So, Jared, here's your message. Hey there, Duck Talks. This is Jared. I'm responding to your episode with Storm Chase Kate. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if uh, the absence of wuzzles from Disney Plus and the fact that the Duck Tales crew apparently can't use the name has to do with the fact that uh, Wuzzles was made as a collaboration between Disney and Hasbro. So maybe there's some kind of legal tangle there that they're needing to sort through. Uh, just a thought with that. And then with regards to you know, Frank and Gunnis um, commenting that a couple characters were cut from the season three poster for legal reasons, I think you guys might be onto something with uh, Louie being omitted. I know there was a whole uh, unpleasant legal history with him, uh, just with, you know, the original actor, um, you know, his estate kind of getting mad at Disney for different stuff, and that's why he's been depicted differently pretty much since, since uh, the original Tailspin. So I figure he could be the guy who's maybe going to make a silent cameo next season, probably when they do the episode that brings in Kit and Molly. But as with regards to the character who has been included in the series, but has been cut apparently for legal reasons, I honestly can't think of anyone. I figure if they're in the show, they should be okay to appear on a poster unless, I don't know, maybe Disney or maybe the DuckTales crew used a character without realizing they didn't have permission to do so or something. I don't know. Seems weird. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's uh, my two bits on it. And Until next time. Let's get dangerous. All right, all right. like that outro there, Jared. So uh, some great points here and some discussion on um, and some and some conversation about things that we've talked about in previous episodes. So what do you guys think about his comment on the wuzzles? I had totally forgotten about that, but it was in collaboration with Hasbro because Hasbro had already started work on this wuzzles i don't know that it was called that when disney went to them and said hey we want to do a show we'd like to incorporate a toy and they said we have the perfect thing and then it was a joint venture so that makes sense as to why frank's not calling it wuzzles yeah i agree with that. so hasbro that makes perfect sense about the toy company and having legal issues i mean maybe they have some kind of ownership with the show the wuzzles is not on disney plus yet we know that so I think it's all intertwined, and maybe that's why they can't directly use 
Wuzzles or that name in the show, but we apparently we know that those at least Butter Bear and, uh, and R- Ranoki were are included in season three. Right, but I don't think we'll get their names, and they definitely won't be yeah, called Wuzzles. Yeah, we, we don't need their names. It, <laughs> they could be just be, they could be running around in the background. Who are, for all our I care. Um, what is it Frank I, said? It's like their tagline for their show, right? The mixture of two different things that, beca- whatever. Wrapped up in a one. Yeah. I noticed up there there was a bear that had some wings. Now, I grew up in the 80s. I really like to watch the woozles. <laughs> Are they by chance woozles, or could we maybe get some of those? I'm not familiar. <laughs> <laughs> They're just a couple of monster animals, random combinations of two animals, two kinds of fun. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> totally it's it, it's gonna be some kind of evil scientist experiment or something i really think that's going to tie into the beakley st- story arc too that seems like something they'll use like the gummy berry juice that we got in season one where we got that um that brought into the spy stuff i think the the not wuzzles <laughs> as we can dub them um will also be spy related i think that would be a lot of fun i think jared's on it though i think that's definitely um the reason why frank and other people keep sidestepping um mentioning them by name that makes total sense now so frank told us that there were two characters that were supposed to be that were supposed to be on the poster but got cut and he mentioned legal reasons and that got our mind reeling uh what it could be and we had a n- number of things. I think, Pirate, I think you were the one that threw out Louie. And honestly, I never even considered this one. I didn't think there was any reason why Louie couldn't be on the poster. But Jared's exactly right. Old man Louie. Yeah, they can't. In- they, they, it's not that they can't. It's more like a out of respect they might not. And he's right. We may get like a silent, um, you know, black and white image of Baloo and Louie and uh, Becky uh, with the sea duck or something. Uh, maybe there's a picture so he's on the screen, but he doesn't actually do anything. But this was something I don't think any of us knew about. We had to look it up. And it turns out that after... So the voice actor for Louie... In the original Jungle Book movie, which is where the characters from Tailspin are based, if you're not familiar with it, I would imagine most people who are listening are. But for those of you who maybe have never watched Tailspin, go turn on Disney Plus and watch it right now, please. Um, and then come back and listen to this. It's more important. But uh, Louis was voiced, King Louis in the Jungle Book was voiced by Louis Prima, and who has had a very distinct voice. And the voice was well known. And he did the character, which was iconic as well. Then when Disney did tell Spin, Louis Prima had it was already gone, and his estate felt like um, it, it, it wasn't the right move for Disney to use his voice. And there was apparently a lawsuit about it, and although it did not go to court or it didn't get very far. I'm, I'm not exactly sure. Um, we don't know any of the behind the scenes. I don't think any of that's public. We do know that Disney has since not used Louie in the same capacities. Um, you don't get his voice. There's no one um, trying to do a Louie Prima voice. Now, uh, Jim Cummings did Louie's voice in Tailspin, and he does a very good impersonation. But uh, I don't think we're going to get that character ever again due to that jared thank you for the voice message and anyone else wants to send us anything if you got any comments about the show uh any questions anything you like for us to talk about reach out to us uh you know we've gone a long time without a new episode of ducktales we're looking for things to talk about at this point (laughs) that's not true we've got plenty of things to talk about as we wait for the show and uh, we've got guests that we're still trying to work out our schedules with so uh, more on that, uh, you know, on a future date, I'm sure. Uh, looking at the notes, speaking of the notes, I see there were some 
pops that were announced, or maybe actually the fact that it looks like this is a Xerox copy of a spreadsheet, I I bet they're not announced. They're not announced. Uh, a lot of Funko Pop figure leaks are from stores that just have them in their system. So somebody found these in, let's say, Barnes uh, Barnes and Nobles are really good leaker as far as Funko Pops go. And people found a lot of releases that are coming out. And uh, Mighty Ducks live action is is going to be coming out at some point this year. It's not animated. I'm sure we'd all flip a, our lids to get a Wild Wing or, or Nose Dive or any of those great characters from that show. Uh, but you know the who who doesn't want to coach Bombay Emilio Estevez pop? Come on. You know the Mighty Ducks was a fun movie, um, and I enjoyed. I actually enjoyed both sequels. I know I hear a lot of people give the third one a lot of uh, a lot of trash talk. But I enjoyed all of them as a kid. I don't know that I've seen the third one in a while. Are yeah, those I, on Disney Plus? Yes, they are. At least no. One of the two of them are. They're on Netflix. I mean, if you search for Mighty Ducks, you'll be able to see it on Disney Plus. It'll tell you it's coming at a certain date or time. Oh, okay. But other places have. I know. I think it, I saw them on HBO or Netflix or one of those other uh, streaming services. So they have to just wait for the exclusivity of that contract to um, wind down, so they can throw it on Disney Plus forever. Yeah, and that was the issue a few weeks back. I guess it might have been the beginning of sometime in January when we noticed a number of uh, movies disappeared from the service. Some of those have come back. I am happy to report The Sandlot is back, and I watched it last Friday. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, so some of those contracts are causing a little bit of a headache. That's why you can't watch Infinity War and Endgame on Disney+. Plus. You can watch Endgame. What is that in the message? Yeah, Infin- Infinity War is, is exclusive on Netflix right now, so it'll eventually make its way to Disney Plus. Yeah. What are these boxes? <laughs> like rehashes of the Disney store. It, yeah. it, it's one of those like other countries have this product called Sweet Box. I guess it's a like fruit snacks that have toys in them. <gasps> fruit snacks mm. and toys? Uh oh. Mitch is finding stuff to spend money on. (laughs) Looks like it's in Russia. So a little behind the scenes, since this is going to get left in the episode, uh, Pirate just sent us a text message with these. um, And I I clicked off the message as I was talking about it. So now I can't. Sweet box. uh, (laughs) Sent us a message with an image from of these sweet box. I think I heard people talking about these Are, are, are they're not in the U S right. They're like in Europe. Yeah. Is that what you said? Did you just say that? Somebody well, said it. Well, if it, there, there's a little like thing in the bottom right corner that looks like it's uh, some kind of yeah, Russian. that's from Ru- Russia. Oh, okay. Well, I bet we could order some. Did you find those on Amazon? I know you were so, yeah, you I, you just shared something no, on I, Amazon. Yeah, as, as I don't pay attention as we record, uh, I just went on because we're drowning. We're trying to find cool stuff to share. Yeah, well, uh, on eBay, they um, and I, I, I type in DuckTales all the time, and um, the sweet box appeared. So it's, a, it's seven in a set. Do we really be talking about this? Uh, we'll do a blog about it. We'll do a blog about it. Let us catch up on the, whatever sweet boxes you are. Can, we'll it's it's like thirty. It's like thirty dollars plus shipping to get plus ten dollars shipping to get a complete set of sweet box figures. I just want the glom gold. It's a nice glom gold mold. That's what. It's a really like. nice. It's a nice glom gold, and then the um, the uh, launch pad isn't bad either. The Scrooge is funny because it's he's the same size as the kids. Yeah. Why doesn't launch pad have a, a base? Yeah, where's his base? No base. I this guess. This is suspect right here. I don't know about this. And and mm-hmm. the. The Webby in the on the box doesn't have a base, but she does on the image. It's a cool glom gold. We don't have a lot of glom gold mar- merch. We need more glom. Gold. Yeah, because he he didn't get a mini figure in the Fat Mojo money stacks, did he? No, no, no. He's just a regular. Yeah. So 
that would be something cool to have. Uh, you can check that out. Apparently, they're on Amazon. No, they're on eBay. Oh, they're on eBay. Oh, you had moved on. Sorry. <laughs> Maybe I should look at... Yeah, I guess I go to Amazon now. Well, they're on eBay. You can find them on eBay. It, We've completely worst, diverted from Mighty Ducks ever. Pops. It's the worst show ever. <laughs> I'm just going to put it out in the raw, too. I'm not going to do anything. No, no. <laughs> what, what's the next topic? <laughs> <laughs> next topic is... Uh, it's it's pirates chip to Epcot. All right. The yeah, Darkwing Duck picture. The next, you you want to intro it, Josh? Oh sure, I wasn't the one who found it, but uh, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'll do it. So I went to Epcot, took the fam to Epcot the other day, uh, this weekend, and um, you know the three caballeros that ride there is the best thing in the whole park, and uh, we put it out there on Twitter. Everybody agrees. Uh, that if you're going to Epcot, you're going to Mexico, you're riding that ride. So we did that. We saw uh, Three Caballero Donald is out doing a meet and greet, which is really cool, right next to the the ride at, in Mexico. Uh, also, uh, it, it happens to be Epcot loves its festivals, and it is the Epcot International Festival of the Arts, which is really cool. You can't go to Epcot and not buy art during this festival. Just like if they had their food and wine festival, you're you're eating and you're drinking. But the art festival, yeah, you're buying art. And last time, last year, we were treated to a great Disney afternoon piece by Jared, um, who made it. It's called Afternoon, a cute afternoon, afternoon of cute. It's great. You need to check out our blog on that. But anyway, there is a new piece. Just checking out the different tents. Uh, Chris Uminga, Chris Uminga, we'll say that's how it says his name, uh, has a Darkwing Duck print, which is very snazzy. It's really cool. And that's what I came home with when I went on my trip to Epcot. Uh, it comes in three different sizes. You got your canvas um canvas artwork and then you got your deluxe art print and they're also the for really affordable postcard size so if you're at epcot the festival goes uh towards the end of february uh definitely check out the wonderground gallery tent which is between china pavilion and germany pavilion and uh pick yourself up some darkwing official darkwing art because you know that's rare and when that comes out, you need to buy it so that people know um, to make more of it. So, um, yeah, that's my Epcot trip. I didn't realize you bought that. The picture you sent us was from the festival, um, so I didn't know you got one. That's awesome. I did. It's I did cool. buy it. Uh, I know er our friend Eric Rothar was there as well. Uh, he purchased uh, purchased it, and I was like, you know what? And I told him to look for it because I saw um, I saw it on eBay, and I'm like, what is this? Uh -huh. And uh, he was at Epcot, found it, uh, and I went the next day. And um, I had trouble. I was like, do I want just the 5 by 7 postcard size? Because this is, this is really great. And then I saw the bigger deluxe print size, and I had to go for that one. Is that one on canvas? The one there's, in the a can there's a canvas one. I believe it's like $175. It's a limited edition of like 90 or 95 and um, then the next lower price tier is the, the deluxe print, which is really cool because it's it's matted already for you. Now you just buy a frame. Uh, that's mm -hmm. and that's thirty nine ninety nine, and then a postcard is five ninety nine. And the postcard is a really popular size um, because the artists a lot of times the artists will be at the tent sign in as well. So you if you see a bunch of different art that you like in a lot of the different tents, you can just buy the postcard size and have them have the artist sign them there. So I, I was conflicted on which size I was buying. So I bought a postcard and I bought the deluxe print. Yeah. I see that on your blog now. Yeah. See, you got to read the blog and, um, and Chris is actually going to be at Epcot next week. So I'm hoping to bring my stuff back there and have him, uh, have him put his little signature on there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. There's, there's some great art. Yeah, we've seen some YouTubers uh, looking at some of them. I had, I think I saw this Darkwing. It's cool that you got a hold of both of, of a couple of them. Um, there was also that Three Cabs print 
I think it was a print from June Kim. Um, I, I, I'm looking on our Twitter where you shared that uh, when you were there. That was really cool, too. Yeah, people love their three cabs. I'm telling you, it recently had its uh, 75th anniversary. I know they had a big uh, event in California where they, uh, D23 event, which was cool. Our friend Matt Danner was there and he did it like Legends of Cab, uh, of Three Caballeros. Um, behind the scenes stuff as well. And Tony Anselmo was there. Which is really cool, it's and they're they're also they're also doing a seventy fifth anniversary showing in Florida and, and some other cities as well. But Matt Danner's not going to be at those; he's only the one at California. But the cool part is they, I think they filmed what uh, the behind the scenes feature was um, in California, and that will be played in Florida and at the other places. Oh, cool! Well, one thing when we started when you started posting about this over the weekend. Um, that rumor came up. So can we talk about this for a minute? The rumor that um, the Grand Fiesta Tour would be replaced by Coco? I mean, I've seen that a few times, but I've not seen anything to substantiate that. I mean... It's just a rumor at this point. <laughs> there's a bunch of different Coco things that are that are appearing in the park. Uh, I know the, um, there's like a sh- little show with the puppet and a, a bunch of the songs. It may definitely makes sense for the area. And I know Epcot's doing a big overhaul of the whole park, really. Um, so it could be a possibility. We we when we first heard about Ducktales replacing the Agent P experience, uh, World Showcase experience, uh, we didn't know if that was going to be true or not, and it ended up being true. So. It's a rumor at this point. We don't know, but uh, enjoy. I, I always say enjoy things while we have it. So if you're in Epcot or you're going to Disney World, definitely check out um, the Three Cabs ride. Yeah. Grand Fiesta Tour. It's it's a must see for us, and I like you said, recommend it for anybody, especially mm-hmm. if you're a Duck fan. If you listen to this podcast, you go to Epcot. That's the first ride you should be on. Don't try to get down to Frozen first. Okay. S- go to Mexico. Come out and have some amazing food afterwards. But yeah, that's that's a fun ride. And uh, Do you guys have the three cabs in your small world? No. No? Oh, okay. No, the, so Florida, that's what we have. the Florida small world does not have any of the uh, licensed characters. Mm. Okay. So that's, a, that's our, our contribution on our side in, at Disneyland is we get, we get the three caballeros in the small world. But it's just for... A second. So between now and February 24th, if you're going to be at Epcot, make sure you swing by and see Chris. He's got a an amazing Darkwing Duck print for you. And uh, share with us. Let us know that you got it. Very cool to see Darkwing stuff in the park. Man, you, know, you realize Darkwing might be in Epcot with that new DuckTales interactive game. Might happen. That would be great. All right, so another item on our notes is that Disney Traditions has, um, or is, going to produce a trick-or-treat Huey, Dewey, and Louie statue. Now, it's currently available over on Entertainment Earth. Our buddy over on Twitter, David Nelson, uh, or at David Nelson 34 sent us the link to this item uh, it's a fun statue, especially those of you who are big fans of the short like us. Um, maybe didn't get the pop like me and still regrets it. Although, I think the pop was cheaper. <laughs> the statue is um, set to be released in August of this year. And um, the price is sixty four ninety nine. Pirate, you getting this? I know you're a Trick or Treat is your favorite short, I believe. It is. I do have the Funko Pops, though, so I don't know if I'm going to be getting the Disney Traditions, uh, which is done by Jim, a great artist, Jim Shore. You you can duck stack your Funko Pops. It's true. That would be kind of cool. It was kind of iconic to both Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And it's a duck blur, the podcast. So, uh, yeah, check that out. Uh, We've shared that link. We'll probably get it up on a blog, too. For those of you who don't check social media, we hear you. You'd like for us to share it there, too. And uh, But, yeah, that looks looks very good. 
A little bit of news as we're moving along. New York Toy Fair. No known DuckTales presence at New York Toy Fair. Confirmed not at Fat Mojo's booth. Now we don't know what to make of that exactly. We did get an invite to come by the booth if we were there. I thought yeah, they we, said that they were going to be showing off stuff at the booth. They are. They're showing off stuff, but there is no new DuckTales stuff. Oh. Now, I might be reading too far into this. Would that be no new as in nothing that's officially been released or nothing that we might have seen before? I, I think anything we've seen before reported uh, is not known. They don't. They still probably don't even think we know about all this stuff. <laughs> Okay. Even though we've had about 25 blogs on it. It's probably true. Yeah. Who are these guys? Who are these guys? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's disappointing. I was really hoping... I mean, once we heard that they were going to have a presence there and that they had some stuff, and I think we've even heard they'll have some Disney license stuff. I I, uh, I might be wrong on that, but I, I feel like that's what I heard. But we did get confirmation... Uh, they answered pirate for those of you who were wondering. Uh, we did get confirmation that um, they would not have new DuckTales at New York Toy Fair, but that's two years in a row because they did not have new DuckTales stuff at New York Toy Fair last year. They had it on their website, and everybody got excited about it, even though the toy line has not happened yet to this date. Yeah, and we we loved covering from afar New York Toy Fair. We don't know. We'll still, if we see anything else out there that's cool, that's worth buying, we'll let you know. Uh, Our good friends Diamond Select Toys have some cool stuff that we're going to be showing off in future blogs. Not DuckTales related, but really cool stuff that Disney fanatics are going to get their hands on. I've been doing some blog reviews on their Nightmare Before Christmas figures, which are really, really cool. And I'm hoping to pair those up with pictures with DuckTales characters, too, because um, just having monsters and and all that with with the uh, with the kids, I think it'll be fun, uh, fun toy photography. Um, but also Rocketeer stuff is coming out from Diamond Select Toys as well. So we'll definitely be covering that as much as we can as we try to fill time with this deadly hiatus. <laughs> and speaking of Rocketeer, we were wrong. <laughs> were we wrong? Yeah, we were wrong. So in the last episode, we talked. We're we're really excited for the Rocketeer animated show, and we're like, when the heck is this coming out? And apparently, Disney Plus has blinded us to the rest of the world. That is Disney Channel and Disney Junior and all that fun stuff we loved covering before. Apparently, Rocketeer came out in November. Uh, on, for Disney Junior, and uh, they're nine, nine, ten episodes into their season one, and uh, I started watching it. I think it's a blast. If you love the Rocketeer show, if you've never seen it before, watch on Disney Plus. If um, it, it, so, the only way you can watch the Rocketeer animated show is to have Disney Now or a sub- TV subscription to be able to see all the episodes that are currently out there. So. Hopefully, not hopefully, but when eventually this will be moved to Disney Plus as well. But uh, it's definitely something worth checking out because uh, we love the Rocketeer in this show. And this show is uh, definitely a lot of cool throwbacks and nods to the original. I really hope that they were going to release these episodes on Disney Plus like when, like right after they were released. But it seems like they kind of wait till a season is is completed before moving anything over. So that makes me feel that the season three for DuckTales, we're going to have to wait on, on Disney plus for them to come. Oh yeah. That'll be season three. would be like 2025. <laughs> <laughs> well, and um, I saw this today. Frank was asked, um, hold on. The co-producer of DuckTales, Frank Angonas was asked over on Tumblr. Um, when how soon season three would be on Disney Plus if he had any idea and Frank of course says he doesn't but his understanding was or the impression that he got was that all of the episodes would air on the Disney Channel before they 
were moved over to Disney Plus. And I think that's been said about another show as well. I can't remember which one. Uh, but that that should be our expectations that things aren't going to just jump over there. I've got to check out the Rocketeer now. This is brand new information. So another item in our news is that we do have a comic releasing this week. Uh, Uncle Scrooge number 54 will be out. Um, well, as of the time you're listening to this, it's already out. Go to your local comic book store and get a hold of it. Or go over to Amazon Comixology and get your digital copy. I've got the summary here. It's another tale of how Scrooge earned his next million. And it's one that proves why no one is as savvy a cap at capitalizing on trends than Scrooge McDuck. My eighth million finds Scrooge behind the wheels of a bus transportation service that starts out less than promising, but soon becomes the hottest ride in town. Uh, there's also a, another tale. These usually have a couple stories called The Golden Egg, and it has Huey, Dewey, and Louie in it, as well as Donald Duck. So definitely one to pick up. I, I thought it was neat that it includes My Eighth Million because there was a um, a series put together called My First Millions, and it was I think it was four issues, and it included Scrooge's first four millions that he made. Um, and we talked about it on here because it's a huge departure from anything like Life and Times. But um, it was a fun read, and uh, these books are, are fun. I added them to my pool not long ago uh, at my local shop, and uh, I get, after I read them, I give them to the girls, and they enjoy them. So they're starting their Uncle Scrooge collections with these. I, I, wanted, to, I wanted to include that to let everyone know that it was coming out. And also, man, I would love to get some new Uncle Scrooge stories in comic format. Like, these are all being re-released from, you know, from other countries. Uh, I really wish Disney would invest in their comics and put out some more. Uh, well, I mean, obviously we hope there's more DuckTales coming. But, you know, uh, Uncle Scrooge and Mickey Mouse and all these great tales that could be told in comic format. Um, I, I think we as fans, you know, if that's something that you'd like, let them know. Get on social media, send them emails. Let them know you would like to see some contemporary stuff. Man, James Silvani and Aaron Sparrow doing an Uncle Scrooge series would be a lot of fun. We Actually, uh, when I met them in, at Dragon Con a couple years ago, uh, James and I were talking about the Uncle Scrooge comics, and um, he just seemed to have such a passion for the old, um, for the uh, for the classic stories and the stuff that's come before with Carl Barks and and Rosa that I'd love to see him uh, get a chance to write something like that and other people. I, we always turn to them because obviously they produce one of our favorite comics, but uh, I think that'd be a lot of fun to get some new stuff. Wow, we did it. You guys want to talk about a Frankly Speaking before we end this episode? Let's do it. All right, so over... Let's do it. it. That's what I was going to say. Let's do it. (laughs) Let's do it. All right, over on Tumblr, Frank Angones was asked by Party Popper. uh, Party Popper asked, DuckTales 2017 version of Huey, Dewey, and Louie in Mickey and Minnie Runaway Railway what? Um, so here's Frank and Gonez's response. I'm as surprised and delighted as you are. It really is a heck of a thrill when the existence of our weird little duck show is acknowledged by other big parts of the company. I have no idea if their involvement extends beyond this poster, but I'm such a fan of the perfect, perfect ruddish shorts that it's a thrill to even see them. Or a thrill to even see this. See even this. Frank, I can't read what you write. No, it was... um, That was kind of our response, too, when we came across it. It was funny. Um, I saw it. I can't remember if it was an email or Facebook. I think it was Facebook. I saw it, and I was like, Oh, you and Dewey and Louie in the ride. And so I blogged about it real quick, and Pirate responds to me. I don't know if he read the blog or not, but I have a feeling he did. And he says... Did you notice that they were in the DuckTales 2017 clothes? And I was like, what? So I opened it up, uh, the image, and looked at it and was floored to realize. Because I had noticed that the hair was kind of blowing around and the hats were gone. But I didn't look close enough to see the clothes. And for sure, we've got 2017 designs on that poster. 
This is for the ride that is repl- that replaced the great movie ride, correct? Yeah, so um, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will be going in uh, in that in the place of that ride, and it's I don't know if you've seen the technology coming with this, but it's like mixing up a trackless ride with the projections that are used on the castles um, and the animatronics, and so there's going to be like a 2D 3D mixture going on throughout the ride. It's going to be some wild stuff. Mm, that's and interesting. It, but what's cool is it I mean it's based on the reddish designs. I think I'm saying his name right. And I but I could totally be wrong. <laughs> but it's based on those designs and there are designs for of course Donald who's a semi regular in the shorts and also Scrooge and Huey Dewey and Louie, but Huey and Dewey and Louie have been portrayed in their classic uh, shirt and cap, uh, ball caps in the past, and it looks like it, you know at least for this poster they got a redesign. Hopefully on the ride as well. Uh, be very exciting, very very exciting to see these characters on that ride. Yeah, I'm excited for that. Uh, next time if I ever make it out to Disney World again, I'm definitely gonna check it out. And we're gonna have to have a uh, Pirate Steve video it for us for, for us people who are. Are not too close. <laughs> you have yeah, to March, it. I'm sure. I'm sure there's so many bloggers going to be out there doing that. But March 4th is the official opening for that one. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I think it was last week, maybe the end of the week. The um, fast passes became available for it uh, for people who were staying at the resorts. So hmm. it's a. It would be a lot of fun. I'm. I'm looking forward to. It. It's one of those that. Like Rise of the Resistance, I couldn't, I couldn't, couldn't keep from watching it on YouTube. I just couldn't do it. I had to see it. I had to know. And I feel like with this ride, with the technology, I don't think it'll look as good on camera. So I'm going to wait and see what people are saying, and I might end up watching it anyway because I'm that excited. <laughs> you're not, you're not, no, you're not going to wait. <laughs> I'm not going to wait. Uh, but we are actually in the process of planning our next trip. It's not going to be soon, uh, but that ride will be open by then and i'm looking forward to it we're, we're we enjoyed hollywood studios when it didn't have anything I, and then the last time we went it was i mean it was kind of crazy how much there was to do and there's even more coming so it's great news for the park uh, we skipped out on epcot completely the last time we were there just because it was all construction but um it'll be a lot of fun by the time we go again it'll there'll be a lot of stuff and hopefully uh the uh, the dino bash is still there over in Animal Kingdom when we come back because we had a blast there as well. Lots of good things in the parks. Epcot, the Epcot stuff, we don't have a date on that. So, you know, as as my wife mentions uh, this trip and planning another uh, a, another trip to Orlando, I'm like, oh, let's just keep pushing it a little further down the way and see when this, uh, when this game will be available because that will get my kids excited about Epcot. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I think that's going to be it. Before we go, we want to make sure everyone knows they should check out the blog over at ducktalks.com. Uh, we'll try to keep information on there. We also have our Twitter feed over to the side. Um, I know there's a lot of people who read the blog who actually don't go to social media, but you can see our posts there. And um, a lot of times when we get you know, information right at the moment, we go ahead and share it there before we're able to put a blog together. And then sometimes we get busy and don't get to the blog quite so quick. But it is there uh, on the website over on the right-hand side uh, for you to easily find things that we're talking about. And if you are on social media, you can follow us at Duck Talks. Uh, You can send us an email, ducktalkspod at gmail.com. And you can also find us on Instagram and Tumblr. Not quite as active, but fun communities over there, so we like to creep around on them and see what's going on. Yeah, you can also follow us individually on Twitter, because that's where we're most active. I am at Infinorama616. And I'm at the Pirate Steven. This is Josh. What? <laughs> and uh, I am at CC Runner524. This is uh, Pirate Steve. I call him myself Pirate Steve. <laughs> and until next time. Stay glam golden. You can dream it. You can do it. Oh, you got it right. You. Yeah. <laughs> do, 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 do.
My celebratory same. song is Mario. Same duck time, same duck channel. They dangerous, as Jared would say. I like that guy. I like how you guys just sit there and shake your head at me. I can tell you're shaking your heads. Oh, you saw it? <laughs> <laughs> I have a video podcast. We know what's happening. <laughs>